Welcome, Grab Shy. My name's John. I'm Blunt. And this is Rain Sweat. We're here to meet Brad, who's a potential suspect. Is this Brad? Hey, Brad. Detective? Michael Stone. Oh, and this is Officer Blunt. I had no idea about this incident. I came as fast as I could. It's heartbreaking. Oh, yeah, this is their friend. Yep. I understand. Come on. Let's discuss this inside. What do you mean you didn't know? Where were you on the night of the six? They're here, Detective. There's only one way to go, bitch. Do you have an interrogation room here? Not really. We'd ordinarily use the conference room in such a situation, but that's got a water leakage problem these days. All that rain, huh? Actually, it's water from the second floor washroom. Sorry about that, Detective, but the storeroom's the best we have now. Okay. Shit. Gross. <laughs> All right, bring Brad in. I'm going to throw him against the wall here. It's just going to fall apart. I'm sorry. I'm still in a bit of a shock. I just got the news last night. I had no idea. It's a weird time. I'm getting married in a few days, and I was so stressed about that. I sent Chris an invitation, not knowing he'd respond. I hadn't talked to him in months, and then this. I can't believe it. I'm just shocked. Sorry, I'm just repeating myself over and over, and... That's all right, Brad. No, it's not. I need you to answer questions. How long have you known Chris? Where are you on night six? Chris? Uh, we met during high school. That's when we decided to major in business. And we were lucky enough to get into the same university. The business of murder? No, no. The Wait, other, the other business. Uh, extortion. <laughs> hmm. He had a knack for it. He'd been helping his uncle run his restaurant since he was 12. Uncle? Chris lived with his uncle. He took him in after Chris had been shuttled between his parents and foster homes for years. I see. What was Chris like? In bed. What was he like? Assume you knew him well. Chris, he... Well, he was ambitious as hell. Driven and optimistic. If he felt like... If he felt inspired by something, he'd do anything to achieve it. I loved him. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> How was he with people? Did he get along with everyone? Was he generally an agreeable guy? Huh. Funny you should ask that. I, I really didn't understand him sometimes, you know? He'd always keep to himself, didn't want to bother with people. It kind of worries me at times. But I just didn't understand the concept of introversion at the time, I think. I'd do stuff like skip parties just so he wouldn't get lonely on, on a Saturday night. <laughs> Bug the hell out of him. Would he get into arguments with people? Short temper or anything? Oh no, not at all. Don't think I'd ever seen him lose his temper. No, he just liked his own company, I think. That's why he married Diane. What? How well did you know Diane? I didn't really. I'd only met her a couple of times through Chris after they started dating. Whatever I knew about her, it was mostly from what Chris had told me. She definitely had... A power over him, though. He was smitten. I'd never seen him like that. Hmm. Did Chris talk about Diane with you? Did he tell you anything at all? Yeah, he'd share things during the first couple of months. After the New Year's Eve party, she didn't get back to him. He'd asked for her phone number that night, but she didn't give it. She said she'd find out his number and call him. It's a very weird thing to do. If she wanted to. What a bitch. The weight, the lack of response, contact, or even a single call drove him slightly crazy. He started collecting pictures of her. Made a, made a, made a mural. Shrine. Made a shrine. Made a yeah. By the time she did call him, he was done. He was completely into her. The uncertainty, the uncertainty made him want her bad. Bad, 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 bad. Hey, I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> Hi! Diane! What should we pick? Uh, I guess she looks great. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Uh, nothing. It's good to see you again. Oh, it's good to see you too, Chris. Who? Oh, me. I didn't think we'd be meeting again, actually. I, I've been wanting to call. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Easy with a desperate tone, boy. You talking to yourself? <laughs> You've been waiting for. Uh, you know what? I forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? 
what the hell's wrong with this guy? I'm leaving. So, uh, where are we going? It's a surprise, Chris. It's my turn to show you something cool. Even though I am the type of person who thought nothing was cool. Oh, what? Oh, got you something, actually. That's kind of weird. Oh, really? It's a book. You said you want to travel, right? To go somewhere far away? The Dreamer's Guide to the World. Hmm. The book is written to inspire people like you. You know, why would you give the gift, like, at the <clears throat> beginning of, like, hanging out? Like, you don't even know this. This guy thinks that dating is, like, a fucking uh, anime minigame or something. That's really sweet, Chris. Thanks. It's strange. She just tosses the book behind her. <laughs> All right. Well, this is us. Come on. I know where I'm going to leave this book. I'm on a fucking bus. Man, they're really tall compared to that bus. Yeah, they're on the high ground, dude. All right, here we are. <clears throat> Did they, like, rent that truck, too? Or, like, what the fuck? I don't know or where that truck... I don't know where that truck with the gasoline in it came from. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me show you something cool. This, this We're gonna one. burn this truck. <laughs> we gotta get rid of this body. We need this boat. What the, f what the fuck? I got something cool to show you, but first we'll need the that boat. Is that your boat, or...? No. Whoa. Are we stealing it? We're just borrowing it, Chris. Don't be such a prude. Just like how we borrowed that truck, or...? <laughs> Come on, you're not scared, are you? I know you're not. I, ain't, I mean, I ain't fucking scared. Let's be real. First I would, I would probably say this isn't really a good thing to do. But this little bitch would probably just give in and say, No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> of course you're not. And you shouldn't be. We're only taking her out for, for a bit. It's only like a felony. Plus, if anyone confronts us, I'll talk to him. It'll be no trouble at all. This guy kidnapped me. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. See if you can get the boat started. Okay. You're going to need this gasoline. I guess I'll be borrowing this too. <laughs> I guess I'll just break into this damn truck. <laughs> Hey, the bitch. <laughs> just fucking leave her. Car's open. The key's in here, too. Fuel container in the back. Bunch of tools. A pair of gardening scissors might come in handy. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll take the fuel and the scissors, I guess. Fill the fuel, huh? What? I... Maybe... I search. Take the scissors. Got the scissors. Fill fuel? Nah. Is that like we're going to siphon gas from this truck? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Oh. Oh. Great, I got it all back out the car easily. You all know right. what's so weird about this? It's kind of implying we can get in this truck and just bounce. Like, that's a real option. That'd be funny. But is that what really happened? Yeah, probably not. Let's cut the rope. Let's just give in to this girl's fucking wishes. You should start to help me out. Well, we have the fucking... The... The... Cut rope. There we go. Got it. Okay. Uh, Sit inside. I'm just gonna start chilling. Fill the fuel. Awesome! Shut up. Turn on the engine. Wait, maybe I should go grab this rope real quick. Just in case. I need to tie someone up. Oh, yeah, and then throw her in the river. Or yeah. Lake. You're right. Uh. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> That's cute. Weirdo. Oh, you gotta. You gotta. Oh. Turn on the engine, maybe? Touch rope. To the truck. Right. Take out the fuel. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, let's drive it. So it looks like we couldn't just escape. Here we go. He'd probably be like, why would I drive? Why would I just leave her there? This criminal. Did you hear the way he drove? It's like he was peeling out on the pavement, but he was on dirt. Yeah. That was cool. That was vandalism. I fucked up. <laughs> what a prude. All right, let's get the Oh, fear. I need the gas, yeah. right. Filled up. You're awesome. You did it. All right, let's go. Oh. So beautiful. It really is, actually. Stealing stuff. Isn't it? I knew you'd like it. I used to come out here all the time a few years back. And steal boats? Just to get away from everything. 
This is my secret world away from the real world. Why'd you stop coming? Chosen! I don't know. I guess uh, it wasn't enough anymore. Where are we going? Yeah, it's a little a little too clear for my taste with the water. This is incredible. Come on, I'll show you my favorite spot. Oh, this place is very cool. It's a cliff. Hurry, now jump. Wait. <laughs> uh, I'm not scared. You're scared? <laughs> I'm not... <For> pussy. <laughs> She's talking to herself. <laughs> This guy's Wait, what's weird. your favorite spot? Like, the whole island's like five feet long. It all looks the same. <laughs> Is it on this rock? Are you in the rocks or something? That's embarrassing. I mean, I like rocks too. Oh, I guess I'll just sit down. <laughs> it's been years since I was last, <laughs> since I was here last. I'd come and sit here for hours whenever I was feeling overwhelmed. Alone? Did you steal a boat every no, time to get my, here? No, my boyfriend, stupid. Yeah, that's the best way, isn't it? Yeah, I love doing things alone. <laughs> what a weird thing to say right now. I like to think that way, too. You want to do things alone together? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know, though. Sometimes I can't really enjoy being alone. Because the voice inside my head starts worrying me that I might be a pussy. Excuse me. I mean, <laughs> excuse be unwanted. Excuse me, you're what? <laughs> And what can is happiness by yourself? The world doesn't need or care about you. I swear you, you just said you talk to you yourself. Bitch. <laughs> if people don't need you, is your happiness alone even valid? She's like, oh my god, dude, I just set myself on an island with a guy who has voices in his head. Of course it is. So I end up comparing myself to the cool kids, like I'm the lesser. That messes with me, because I can't really have a good time by myself. Uh, who wants to fit in anyway? Uh, me. I mean, no. Oh, only losers want to. Mostly, I don't care. I just enjoy working and spending time with hobbies. But it's like, what's the point of all the cool things you do and experience alone if nobody cares? And then, maybe doing great work could help you be a part of the picture. Maybe fame and recognition could help you claim a piece of the world. Dude, this guy's a YouTuber. <coughs> yeah. As if great work or fame can make up for personal shortcomings. I've never felt that way. Who cares what people think? What are you, an alien? <laughs> I like being by myself because that means I don't have to deal with them. People can be horrible. Yeah, some of them. I'm just not interested in being part of their shitty picture. Screw being admired or accepted. I think looking for that is a waste of time. But also, everyone feels that way, Chris, at least some of the time. Everyone fears the thought of not fitting in. It's not just you. Don't worry. Really? It doesn't feel like it somehow. Even people with fame, despite what you think. Most just don't show it. You're fine as you are. Everyone is. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm too hard right now. <laughs> Especially you. You're intelligent, ambitious, good-looking, funny, and... You got me good-looking, I'm a girl. So don't worry. Did you miss half of my sentence in there? Wait, why am I talking about all this embarrassing myself? Uh, idiot. What's wrong with me? I just do something about myself. I can hear you. Pussy. <laughs> Forget all that. It just bothers me sometimes. It's not a big deal. Tell me about you. Tell you what about me? Oh, fuck. I didn't expect <clears throat> this. Uh, That's not the right nah. thing to talk about. You don't talk about anyone's previous Family relationship. childhood? Nah. Let's ask about our friends. That seems the more, like, not Normal. creepy thing. Tell me about your friends. Ah, oh, friends. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel about them. So they're not friends. Actually, I'm not in the mood to talk about them. Tell me about yours. Uh, I have some good friends. Brad's one, and Emily, you know them. There are a couple other guys that I meet sometimes. Mostly it's just me and Brad. We're pretty close. We're like this. Good for you. He's a great guy. I guess we're going to talk about everything. Fuck. Okay, let's go into the logical, crazy order, I guess. Tell me about your family and childhood. Wow. Look, I didn't want to ask this. I just had to. I don't know why. You chose a topic I care to talk the least about. Try again. Ugh, this is the one I don't well, want to talk about. We're going to surprise you with an even worse topic. Hey, are you dating anyone right now? Please say no. Oh, God. No, it's been almost a year now. Oh, my gosh, you said no. <laughs> 
There were some guys. Some were great. Some were really great. Wow. You're not one of them. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. And? I'm not in the mood to elaborate. You're not in the mood to do fucking anything. You? Uh, about a year. I've, I've been I've been around. I've got told so many STDs. You haven't slept with anyone. Have you? <laughs> I've After. only been in a couple of relationships. They're fine. Nothing worth talking about. I'm not in the mood to elaborate. Look at me. I'm so cool. Hey, I wasn't the one that brought it up. Okay, okay. I should talk to her about something else. Something she likes. Her passion. She doesn't want anything in life. We already fucking know that, so. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what are your passions? My passions? Wow, you ask such loaded questions. I thought this is pretty <laughs> fucking simple. <laughs> I... <clears throat> That's okay, I'm kidding. At least you're not just making small talk. Pretty sure that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. I'm terrible at small talk. Oh, I like I, I can tell. I like big talk. <laughs> I'm a big boy talker. <laughs> I'm a big boy. I sit on the ground like a big boy. <laughs> on an island. <laughs> I stole a boat. <laughs> you think a big boy could have drove that truck? And then drove his boat to this island and sit on his ass right here in the sand. Big boys do that. <laughs> I know, Chris. You start talking about fireflies. Hey. Anyways, what was it? Oh, my passions. I don't know. I don't have any. Hobbies? Anything? Do you do anything? Well, I, I listen to music. I like that. What kind of music? Indie rock mostly, trip hop sometimes. Oh, you're one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> she like opens up like for one second and he just immediately judges her. Oh. <laughs> of fucking course. <laughs> of course you fucking hate everything and listen to indie rock. Of course. <laughs> trip hop. That's not even a real you just made that shit up. <laughs> fucking are I we... even indulge in some boy bands once in a while. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're fucking basic. <laughs> really? Do you play anything? I own a guitar. Never got past the basic chords. Oh, that hit home. So, yeah, I guess <laughs> that's all. really hard right there. What do you want? In... Oh, no. Fuck no. We already know she wants nothing. Tell, tell me what inspires you. <laughs> inspires Probably you, fucking nothing. Inspires you to do nothing. <laughs> Tell me what inspires you. Inspires me? You know what? That was a... Yeah. Nothing, really. <laughs> Fucking called it. Not everyone feels inspired the way you do, you know? Is there nothing that even, say, excites you? Besides stealing boats? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. When I was a kid, maybe. Goddamn. You're gonna burn down a fucking building one day, and you're like, I thought this would excite me. I don't know. I do like how you ask me these questions, though. And I like listening to you talk about these things. I don't know I don't know what keeps you inspired, but it makes me happy. So what about you? What keeps you inspired? Uh this might take a while. I'm actually an interesting dynamic character, <laughs> unlike you. I've never tried describing it to anyone though. It's just an amazing feeling. Random things trigger it. Mostly nature or music or film. For a second those things give me a tiny glimpse of something really, really beautiful. I know it sounds crazy, but it's like a vision. It's like a portal <laughs> to another world, man. Like like a life I once lived, or maybe in another dimension. It probably helps that I take drugs when I watch these films. But, you know, it's pretty crazy. It's like falling in love in a way, you know? It just feels different. I know you wouldn't know anything about it because you're not fucking interesting at all, but it's almost nostalgic. Or like a dream. You know dreams feel beautiful? I don't dream. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, I can't describe what dreams are like, so... <laughs> I just feel that most of the time, I don't know. All I know is this beauty overwhelms me. It's just so damn beautiful, Diane. And that's what keeps me inspired. Jesus Christ. Well, she probably thinks literally nothing of this. Chris, wow. You have a connection with a dream world? I think she... You making fun of me right now? She latched on to like the worst part of that conversation she probably could have. And there you are feeling insecure about the stupidest, most irrelevant things. I mean, she has a point there. Like, honestly, who cares about things like being popular when you've got that? I mean, grass is always greener, right? That's what people say. In 
on the other side. <laughs> did it, did it. Oh, oh, fuck. Well, then, it's a pity that we value the things we don't have. Seriously, you should be an artist or something. I don't know what you're up to starting a business. Uh, I guess he's starting a business. Yeah, the hotel. Is this, like, already? I don't think that's still quite to that point, but... I mean, I imagine it's probably in his head, you know? Maybe. But I'm good with this business stuff. And it pays the bills. You know, talking about all this, it's actually kind of exciting. Maybe you could inspire me. I'd love to. Nobody's really interested in all this stuff, usually. I'm very interested. It's time to fuck on the rock, girl. Oh, hey, look, it's dark now. We'll never get back. Stars have come out. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're incredible for getting me here. Stealing boats are awesome. Look at the stars. Look at all the boats we've stolen. Look at the water, Chris. We need you not to tell the police about this. What? Oh, there's stars. The water's glowing. It's magic. Why's the water glowing? Try walking in it. What are you, crazy? Okay. I know, bitch. Why does it seem like this is just the worst idea? It's following me. The glowy stuff's following me. Whoa! That's cool. I think we should be heading back now. Really? You, now you're worried about going back? It's getting dark. I don't want you to drown or something. That's a good point. Yeah? Not before I get to know you better, at least. Wait, are you going to kill me? Come here. It's time to fuck on the rocks. Go for a quickie. Sup? I'm back from the water. No, wait, you know what? I regret if I don't do this now. It's time to whip out my dick. That's what all my friends tell me to do. Don't I, say I love you. I think I want to swim in this water. Oh, that, wait, what? This is gonna be so fucking awesome. Woo! What? What are you doing? <laughs> He's going to drown. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't as deep as I thought. This is amazing. My back's broken. I'm going to die. This is... Di Diane? Whoa. <clears throat> the thumbnail. Oh, this is a pretty good fucking thing. <laughs> my mind's fucking blown. Wow. My back's broken. Diane's here. She said she doesn't have a boyfriend. Dreams really do come true. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? That was pretty cool. I like these, uh, these like still images. They're really cool. And that's what he told me about that night. <laughs> oh, disappeared uh, again. Damn. After that, Diane disappeared from uh, his life once again. I don't remember if I was even his voice. I was. Yes. Chris didn't hear from her for weeks. So obviously, Chris couldn't believe it when she asked him to come over to her place all of a sudden. That was the thing with Diane, really. And it's that unpredictability that drew Chris in, I think. She sounds kind of annoying to deal with to me. I agree. Hey, Chris. Diane, finally. I was wondering, yeah, uh, uh, ever gonna call me again? Of course I was. Why don't you just give me your number? It's so inconvenient. I always have to wait. I enjoy it. Yeah, she's super annoying. Anyway, there's no one at my place, and I've just ordered pizza. Too much of it. You want to come over and help? Uh, yeah, sure, really? Yeah, I don't know why I'm taking the risk, but just come before I change my mind. Risk? What? How do I get there? Have you tried Google Maps? Wow, I can't believe I'm actually here. Shut up. I never meet anyone at home. I don't know why I called you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure your parents would like me. Yeah, sure. Why are you trying to meet my parents already? I love this. What, making coffee? That's so stupid. Yeah. It's raining outside, we're chilling, make coffee, we're chilling, got pizza on the way, we're chilling. So stuff that's kinda normal? Doesn't make it any less beautiful, that bitch. <clears throat> Do you always make observations like this? Not always. Only around you, I think. It's like he has to counteract her lameness. Yeah. Is it annoying? No, not at all. I like it. It's just kind of new for me. Good, because you fucking annoy me. 
Did you read that travel book I gave you? I didn't really get the time to. I did flip through it, though. Well, goddamn, it's been like, what, like a few months since you called me? You probably had some time. It looks really interesting. I'm just gonna... I'm just waiting for the right moment so that I can enjoy it. You should read it. It's great. Then you really could make a plan and work out how to execute it. Yeah, I will. When do you have time to have your exams? Exams? The ones you prepared for so you can study abroad? Oh, right. That was a lie, but... uh. There's a few more months to go. I'm not sure if I really want to take them, though. Why not? I'm only taking those so I can get away from this place, but I don't know. Maybe there's a better way. Well, I'm about to move to Pineview soon. How convenient. I've been looking around. I found a couple of good places I can move into. Hotel I'm planning to start there? Yeah, you were right. I was planning to start there for a long time. That should also work out. I met the planning committee and checked out a few possible sites, too. That's great. When do you think you'll move? Next month, hopefully. I really admire you, you know? What? You go out there and you do the things you want. You don't just let dreams remain dreams. I admire that. I can't wait anymore for the pizza. You know, man, I don't know. It's so weird that there's just so big time lapses that they're not together. But they're not in Pineview yet, so it's like... Yeah. Is this, is this gonna it's be like tough that? because this is all just from what he's told Brad, I assume. Yeah. Wow. Pizza. Wow, no punctuation. I don't normally get to just lounge about and eat pizza for hours. Damn, you I, guys eat pizza for hours? I can get used to this. That's a lot of fucking pizza if you That's eat for hours. three boxes of pizza though, for like, two people. I eat pizza maybe over the course of like 20 minutes. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done. Maybe if you have something on TV, but I don't see no TV. Yo, pizza goes bad fast. Or like, it it generally tastes a lot worse. <clears throat> either like, you either wait a long time or you just fucking eat it then. Why don't you though? Oh, you know, just stuff. Anyway, thank you for coming. I mean, I'm glad you did. Whoa. Spider-Man. Oh, what's happening? Oh, this is happening. This uh, is happening. Oh, uh, I'm gonna cream. <sighs> Didn't know they ordered cottage cheese with this pizza. Ew. Was it bad? Did I do something wrong? That's the worst thing in the world that could have happened after that. Diane? This is getting a bit close for me. You shouldn't... Uh, you kissed me, but... I don't know. I guess I don't understand. I don't fucking know. I right, let's not play the blame game. I don't understand. The more you get to know people, the less you can stand them. You said that. I mean, this is different. Shh. This is before I met you. She's turning it around on us. Goddamn, she doesn't forget a single goddamn thing to turn into a fucking negative. Also, I thought your back was broken? <clears throat> oh, it's fixed now. You don't know me, Chris. When you do, you won't like who you'll find. I mean, you're right. You'll be dead. <laughs> that explains why he shot her. Something wrong? Something I need to know? I think, I think you should leave. Uh, Diane, come on. Come on, baby. Please, Chris. My parents are probably on their way home anyway. Probably not her parents, but... You should probably just leave. Alright, I'll go. If that's what you want, I'll go. Thank you, Chris. Unless it is her parents and she's abused or something. I'm sorry. I assume there's some kind of weird abuse fucking thing going on. I don't know. After that, Chris and Diane began to meet a little bit more frequently. At the same time, I started seeing him a lot less as well. When did you see him next? On the 6th. That night? <laughs> Where are you going? Um, Detective, I need to be somewhere else in a bit. Is that okay if we... Is it okay if we pick this up again tomorrow? Uh, of course. Uh, yeah, no problem. You know, it was weird the way he dipped out on that one question. That's it for today, it looks like. Alright, see you tomorrow. Good night, Detective. Wait, you ain't coming with me? Or? Makes me think that where he was, or last time he seen him, must have he must have seen something. Yeah. That was relevant. So next time we're going to head back to the hotel, take a little nappy nap, maybe get in the bathtub again. That'll be fun. Probably get some sleep paralysis in the tub. That's always exciting. Uh, but that's it for now. So be sure to grab a shine your day, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Bye.